Hey everyone, it's August 26th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with serial killer Benjamin Atkins, known as the Woodward Corridor Killer and the Highland Park Strangler, who murdered at least 11 women in the early 1990s, and that is him right over there. Atkins was born into poverty in Detroit in 1968 and had a very difficult upbringing. Both parents battled drug and alcohol addictions, and his father left as soon as he was born, with his mother popping in and out of his life, first abandoning him when he was just two years old. He suffered physical and sexual abuse at the hands of other children in his orphanage, and at the age of 10 was molested by an employee of the home, the very person the system had designated as his caretaker. His mother occasionally picked him up and took him along while engaging in prostitution, with Atkins sitting in the back seat while a stream of men entered their car as she turned tricks in the front. When he was old enough, he became a pizza cook at a local restaurant and developed a drug problem of his own as a means of coping with the terrible mess his life had been while spending his nights on the street or in homeless shelters. While most who met him said he was pleasant and well-liked in the neighborhood, his personality would take a dark turn when he was high on crack, cocaine, or drunk, which became more and more frequent. Beginning in 1991, Atkins embarked on one of the worst murder sprees in Detroit's history, killing 11 women in just nine months. His victims were mostly drug-addicted prostitutes, and he would lure them to abandoned buildings with the promise of getting them high, but would sexually assault and strangle them, leaving their bodies in vacant buildings. Authorities determined that he would often prolong the act of killing his victims, choking them to the point of unconsciousness, letting them recover, choking them again, and repeating the cycle before killing his victims. His first intended victim actually escaped during this process, leading him to choose smaller, weaker women as targets from then on. Bodies were found every few weeks starting in October of 1991, and when he killed his 11th victim, it was just August of the next year. Atkins was picked up by the police when he was seen in the neighborhood where his final victim was found and was identified by the woman who escaped his clutches nearly a year prior. He initially denied any connection to the murders, saying that he was gay and thus had no reason to consort with women. But under repeated questioning, he confessed, eating five cheeseburgers while telling detectives, I killed all 11 of them so I didn't have to worry about them pressing charges. He led the police to two bodies they hadn't already discovered and was put on trial in 1994. After a four-month trial, the jury convicted him of 11 murders and he was sentenced to 11 consecutive life sentences. Just three years later, however, Atkins passed away from an infection due to having HIV, ensuring no one else would ever be hurt by him. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so you can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Benjamin Atkins, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.